In this video, I'm going to show you how to bulk add and modify proxy addresses for user accounts in Active Directory. So for example, this uh, account has uh, this one proxy address. And uh, for example, I need to add a new one to it. Um, and then I've also got some users that I need to modify. So to do that, uh, you can use this Active Directory Pro Toolkit and the bulk updater tool will let you uh, modify uh, users attributes and it includes two options under the update options you can add new and update existing uh, before you modify the addresses I recommend using the export users tool and you can run it on the entire domain or you can select an OU or group and then select which attributes you want to back up I've got the proxy addresses column here and it will list They've got multiple addresses, it will uh, list those here, and then you can just export this to a CSV. Uh, I think it's a, a good way to just have a backup or a reference uh, to look back in case something was wrong or somebody has questions on uh, what, what changed. So back to the bulk updater, you want to start by downloading this template, and you can save it wherever you want. I've got it saved to the desktop. And then it's got an example user, user in here. And if you're just going to modify or update the proxy addresses, you can remove all of these attributes that you do not need. You don't have to. It just makes the template easier to work with. So now I've just got the user account name. So same account name is required. And then proxy addresses. And then proxy addresses update is for uh, modifying existing. So let me close this as I've got one already filled out. So in this template, I'm going to add these proxy addresses to all of these accounts. And if you want to make one a primary, you can just capitalize it SMTP. Uh, but again, this will not modify any existing ones, it's just adding new. So when your template is all filled out and ready, Come back to the bulk updater tool. Make sure add new is selected. Select your template. I'm going to add new. Click run. And if there's any errors here, it will show that in the logs. It's shown uh, 20 of 20 has been updated. So let me come back in here and verify that with this one account. So before it only had one attribute or one proxy address. Now it should have two. So here you can see it added that other, that new at attribute. So that's how you, uh, another thing you can do is you can use the export users tool. If you wanna update this for multiple accounts, uh, you can run it for the entire domain. And I'll just run it for the entire domain. And then I can search for that new domain. And there you can see that new address uh, on all those accounts. So that's uh, adding new. Now let's check out how to uh, update existing addresses. So come back to this account. I've got this. Active Directory Pro 123.com address, and I need to change that to something else for a, for a bunch of accounts. So I'll pull up my template. So to modify existing ones, you need to have the proxy addresses underscore update uh, column. So same account name. And then proxy address is the address that you want to target. And then the proxy address update is what you want to change that address to. So again, proxy addresses, this, these are the existing addresses. And then this update column is what you want to change that to. So when your template's ready, come into update options, make sure update existing is selected, click OK. Select your template. HR update existing or whatever you've called it click run 
So now let me come back in here and refresh. So I should see that this uh, proxy address, Active Directory Pro 123, has now been modified. So now you can see that uh, this Active Directory 123.com address for this user account has been changed to update.com. And then again, to verify that for multiple accounts, I can just use this export tool, click run, and then I'll search for that new domain uh, to verify that multiple accounts have been modified. I'll search for active directory pro.com two three update. And there you can see all those accounts have been modified. So that's how you can uh, bulk add and bulk modify proxy addresses in Active Directory with the uh, Pro Toolkit. So one other option I want to show you is if you want to uh, remove proxy addresses from accounts, all you have to do is put the same account name and then under the proxy addresses column, just put remove and this will remove all proxy addresses. So maybe you need to uh, restart or somehow they've, your addresses have gotten all mixed up or messed up somehow, you can completely remove them. But again, just to caution you, this will remove all proxy addresses. And again, I would, I would take a backup of the existing proxy addresses values. So just put the, put the account name and then put remove. And then you would just come in here, uh, default settings, add new, select your template. Uh, that error means the cell file is open. You close that. See, remove, click run. So now if I come in here to this account, all proxy addresses should be gone. And there you can see it's removed all proxy addresses for that, that account. So that's it for the, this video. Uh, this is a really quick way to, uh, or easier way. I mean, you can do this with PowerShell, but it gets kind of, it's a pretty complicated script to update and modify uh, proxy addresses for multiple accounts with, with that PowerShell. This is a much easier way to do it. And you can also uh, update uh, other attributes and export them for a backup. Uh, you can download this tool for free, for, and for a free trial. It allows you to uh, update and export and report up to 10 accounts for the trial version. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.